Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the iFlight Commando 8 radio controller. In this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs and give you my feedback after testing it out. First of all, the iFlight Commando 8 is available in a couple of versions, so you can get it with an Express LRS 2.4GHz or 900MHz modules and extra parts including a multi-protocol model bay are available for an extra cost. It weighs 321.9 grams, so it is lighter than the T-Pro, Zoro and the Tango 2. It features whole sensor gimbals and high quality stick ends, which are comfortable to use for both pinchers and tumbers. It is powered by two internal 18650 2000mAh 1S lithium ion battery cells, which are connected in parallel and will provide you with at least 4 hours of walking time. Fast charging the batteries is done using this USB Type-C port, which is also used for connecting the radio controller to your computer for using it with flight simulators, updating the firmware of the radio controller, and for accessing the contents of the included micro SD card. You should note, however, that you cannot use this USB Type-C port for updating the firmware of the Express LRS model, so you cannot enter debug mode, and in order to update the firmware of the Express LRS model, you will either need to enable Wi-Fi mode and update the firmware over Wi-Fi, or disassemble the model and directly update its firmware using its USB Type-C port. In addition, short pressing the power button is going to provide you with an indication about the battery status, and in order to turn on or off the radio controller, you will need to short press the power button and then long press it for a couple of seconds. Welcome to HTX. The Commando 8 comes preloaded with HTX and navigating between the different options is done using these two joystick buttons. The fan of the Express LRS model is always turned on and you cannot set a threshold using the Express LRS Lua script in order to turn it on or off. Finally, on the top side of the radio controller, you can find two two position switches and two three position switches. As for changing the Express LRS radio transmission module that comes with the Commando 8, it is done by removing the two hex screws from the back of the radio. Then you will be able to lift up the radio transmission module and you will also need to disconnect this JST connector from the main board and disconnect the antenna connector from the main board as well. Now it's important that you should note that the Commando 8 doesn't feature an internal radio transmission module, so basically the only one that is supported is the external one. So you can either use the 2.4 GHz or 915 MHz Express LRS modules by iFlight, or you can purchase this adapter, which will enable you to use the Commando 8 with nano-sized radio transmission modules, including the Crossfire Nano TX and similar. This is probably the biggest downside of the radio, as unlike the Radio Master Zoro, Jumper T-Pro and Tango 2, you won't be able to run an internal radio transmission module and whenever you'd like to, just add an external one using this nano-sized model bay. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the iFlight Commando 8. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that I really like this radio as the build quality is good, the gimbals are great, I like the switches and attention to details, and I think that its main downside, as I mentioned before, is that you won't be able to run an external model in addition to an internal one, so in case that's a deal breaker, you probably shouldn't get the Commando 8, but in case it doesn't bother you and you're just looking for a compact Express LRS ready controller, the Commando 8 is definitely something that you might want to check out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video. And by the way, I do plan to post another video in which I'm going to compare all the available ready controllers that feature a gameplay style form factor. So stay tuned for that video. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.